what movie is this from? What movie? What movie? Where well, the guy was like this, I can't do it. And he like put his hand in the, in the, in the spaghetti. Ew, it's so disgusting. What if it's a girl Mina in this video, we are gonna be trying out a whole bunch of new products, including the Zoeva Foundation. I have been seeing it and hearing it and y'all told me to try it out. So we're gonna do that today in this video. It feels strange because it's been such a while since I filmed. I'll discuss that when we get started. But before that, make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram. Also join my text community because it's free and you need to be in it because you can text me one on one and yes it is my phone number so make sure you text me and join okay new hair love loving the soft curls comment and let me know what you think about the soft girls she's real because she's mine and i paid for her yeah 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 and see all right i need to pin this back on me because we need space you know what I'm saying? We need to make sure that we ain't got no obstruction. She's a four by four. I am not ready for the 13 by four situations with the hairspray and the whatever. I'm not ready for all that. I don't wanna do all that. I don't wanna be out in public and my wig is lifting. So I just stick with this four by four situation. It has lace four by four. That's what that means, you know? And that's what that is. Yo, let me just tell you right now, I feel kind of sick. I am on my period and I just feel tired. So if my energy isn't the norm, that's what it is, okay? I almost didn't film the video today, but I knew I needed to film, so here we are. Now, the reason why I said that it has been a while since I, this is not a chat, chat but I just wanted to say this. <laughs> the reason why I said it's been a while since I filmed is because I was sick, you know, cold. You might hear some of that right now, maybe not. The majority of it is gone, you know? And then I got a break out on my face. Yo, like what is going on right now? Which it is on its way out, but if you're noticing some texture, that's what that is. If you're new, I do have rosacea. I do break out from time to time. It's usually because products that I'm trying. <laughs> break me out it's what i do it's just the name of the game i do have a dermatologist i do use medicine it is all good i'm used to it all right so we're gonna start off with the foundation right we're doing the zoeva situation i have four of these bad girls Ooh, nice glass bottles baby i got four of these i picked them up based on what i thought was gonna work for me we have 410w strong we have 420n trusted 440c wise and 430n warrior now normally I would use a primer I do have a primer that I wanted to use but because my skin is on its mend right now I don't want to prime today just not today usually I do prime I do have on my skincare and SPF so just a note there that's always a must now we're gonna do some swatches of this obviously this is not my color but let's go ahead and swatch it this is 410 W strong good thing is it has a pump we are gonna pump some of this on the back of my hand and apply it to my face I already know <laughs> this ain't going well. This is not it. Although, who knows? Yeah, that's too light. That ain't gonna be it, you know what I'm saying? All right, I forgot to mention that this is a natural luminous foundation. So <laughs> good for the winter time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna object right now. This is the color 420N Trusted. Ooh, it is more cool than I would like, but it could work kind of. Let's see. 420N Trusted. This is the color 430N Warrior. This one is more me. I like to go dark, you know that, because then I lighten everything up. Totally. Yeah, in contrast, this is obviously not it. This is clearly my color. Can you tell? You should just be able to know by looking like, uh, hello, ma'am, this is your color. It's gonna look dark. When we highlight everything and, and bring it all together, it's gonna act right. This color looks so good. This is 440C wise. C is for cool. This looks so good. Ooh, it just looks so good. 440 C wise wowzers. Here's my color. Love that. Now, if you try this foundation, I want you to comment and let me know what you thought about it because I do want to read after I post the video. I've never tried this. It is luminous, and especially since my skin is healing from a breakout, I need the hydration. My skin does dry out <laughs> when I break out, but like I said, I'm opening my eyes to more hydrating foundations for the winter time since the weather is cooler. Although I can't lie, I still love my NARS Soft Matte because it's a real matte matte and a soft way we gonna get there okay all right so i took two pumps of this one remembering this is my shade 430 was this the one i <laughs> yeah i think it was one <laughs> 430 n warrior okay using my morphe e63 yeah this is wow it's gonna be dark it's gonna be dark but we're gonna lighten who should i have used the other one <laughs> 
This is reminding me of the Maybelline foundation. Should I use the other one for 20 in? Hold on. This one was too cool. It was like giving red. Oh my God. Mm. I'm going to keep both of these because now I feel like I should have used 420 in, which is a little bit lighter. I can make this work. We're going to make this work just like I did the Maybelline foundation. If you're wondering what I'm referring to, make sure you go watch that video. We're going to make this work, but I'm going to keep the two of these. I'm going to keep 420 in and use this next time. Now that I spread this around, it's like, wait. Okay, so it's definitely giving hydration. Comments, let me know what you think about this. It's giving dew, it's giving glow, it feels comfortable. It's giving medium coverage, of, although like I've said in the past, depending on what your, your natural skin looks like, depending on how many blemishes you have, how dark they are, what other discoloration you might have on your face, that all, to me, determines the coverage level of the product if it's not a full coverage product. If you have no blemishes on your skin, then you might consider this to be a full coverage foundation. I have blemishes, so I would consider this to be a medium coverage foundation. It is definitely giving dew in a very comfortable fashion, which is perfect for my skin today since I'm having a breakout. All right now, the next product that I'm going to try out that I've never tried before is this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. Okay, this is the color 50. Now, we have talked in the past about how if your foundation is darker than usual, your concealer going to look lighter than usual. My face looks so dark. <laughs> That's okay though. It makes my teeth look really, really white. Okay, this, okay, the, the wand is giving Morphe, which I do like a lot. Let's see, okay, this color is good. This color is really good. It looks like the color that I use in the Morphe one. This color is really good. This was sent in PR, so makeup forever. Thank you for that. Oh, I forgot to dip my sponge, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God. Okay, here I am squeezing out the leftover water on my tissue. We talked about this. Watch my video on makeup sponges. I like to blend from the outer part of the face, leaving the in inner part to dry a little bit more. And then I blend it. That gives me more full coverage. Shout out to my sis Jackie for that tip. What kind of coverage is this? I need to shave. I'm seeing some hair. <laughs> is it the hair or what? what? What's going on here? What kind of coverage is this concealer? I need to look at it. Up. Is it not full coverage or what's going on right now? I'm not a fan of this concealer. What is happening to it? It's like it's disappearing. It's not giving me the coverage I need right here. Or is that the foundation picking up? I don't know. Okay, it's on the inside, pinching this sponge. I'm trying to go fast because I don't know how this dries. It's my first time using it, but it is giving me some time. So that's a good thing. All right, it is coming together. It's coming together. I had to add some more concealer under my eye. Did my under, did under the cheek, middle of my nose, the usual areas. I don't have a new bronzer. I cannot find my Denissa Myricks one. I don't know what I did with it, but I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty 12 Tees because that's the one I got. And then we're gonna move into other products that I have. Okay, here's the brush I'm looking for. It. This is my Sephora 56 brush, you heard. I'm gonna use this. And we're gonna jump into the setting powder. Now this next product has been out for some time. I tried it one time in a video that was a testing new products video that I lost somehow. I mean, I don't know where the files went. I had half of the video I was editing and I was like, what the heck? Where's the rest of it? Could not find it. And this was one of the products that I was trying out in that video. So we're gonna try it out again. So it's a second iteration of it. It was crazy when I first tried it. I'm sure it'll be equally as crazy now. It's the Tatcha. <laughs> The Silk Powder, the Radiant Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my goodness. When I first tried this out, I was like, what in the shimmer? It was so shimmery. Let's try it out again. I want you to tell me if you've tried this. Do you like a shimmer under your eye? I did wear it and it did look okay as the day went on, but it took time for me to be like, okay, this is doing something. I'm giving it one more shot right now because this is pretty serious and we need to see what's going on. My face is looking pretty hydrated right now. This concealer is hydrating too. I'm gonna use my, this is a Sigma Soft Blend 60 brush, taking some of the product on it, tapping 
the excess off very very important and putting the brush down and then now pinching and making sure there are no creases under my eye get the creases out before you set your concealer this concealer looks good it is dewy and it does look like it has set in place hold on but I do want to set it because I'm used to setting my concealer I'm doing so I don't want the creasing to come back in oh I suppose you could just leave this hold on what are they doing I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that again so right here and going under now this is gonna be interesting because this concealer is hydrating and then this setting powder is radiant what is it doing already like what is going on here did I not blend that well? What's going on? Hold on. What's happening? Wait, 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 wait. Did I not blend that well? Did I not blend my con my contour well? Okay, there's some things happening with my face right now. I don't know if it's the product, so let me not say that. Okay, I because I did this already, I didn't take too much, but I'm not sure if the inner eye is set. Let's do a little bit. Take a little bit. All right, I'm, I'm liking the radiance. See, the first time I believe I took too much. Okay, it's happening. Do you see a light gold? Does that not look like light gold to you? <laughs> oh dear God, okay. It's doing what it did last time. That is what it's supposed to do. It is doing what it's supposed to do. I just don't like what it's doing. Okay, here's this side. Setting it like normal, going to the outer part, getting the side of the nose, always tapping off the excess, down the side of the nose, getting that corner. You don't want any caked up, gunked up mail. Oh my God. It's looking like gold under my eyes, dear Lord of heaven. And it is, this is exactly what I hated the first time. It is accentuating the hairs on my face. It's the end of the month and I do need to shave my face, which is what I do at the top of the month. So this is accentuating the hairs right here that's hair <laughs> i'm so annoyed okay i do shave my face every month it's my beauty one of my beauty secrets i don't it's not a secret i, I do it I, I share it online oh dear god Alrighty. so let's just do the usual setting i'm not gonna set under my cheek because i don't want frost under my cheek that's Strange. Okay, so now we are at the place where i was in the initial video a place of horror a place of mortification if that's even a word you know wowzers it looks like i put highlighter under my entire eye and now i'm sweating wow all righty then i hate this right now but perhaps we can salvage it oh you can see my texture mm, you can see my texture doing makeup with acne you know i'm worthy as well if i had to go to work i would still put makeup on that's why i just challenge myself to do the makeup even though i have a breakout if you have acne or any kind of skin conditions this is your reminder to love yourself and to do you boo if you're gonna do a full face and your face is not burning do what you gotta do my face is not not burning it just needs to it just needs to calm down all right face powder this is the time oh my god i don't know how i feel about this this is the time where i put a face oh i do set my contour let's do that i don't have a contour color so i'm gonna use my old faithful which is lys beauty no limits bronzer in the color deep okay and her name is worthy i'm gonna go ahead and set this contour yeah i did contour right yep set the contour and then i'm gonna put my face powder on and boy oh boy i don't know if this face powder gonna bring this together or what my under eye is looking like yellow frost this gold how are you feeling about the gold highlight setting situation could it be a moment for the beach i suppose i've just never put a highlighter like this, like a shimmer highlighter under my eye. God almighty. If you recall back to my Maybelline video, because the foundation was so dark, I used a powder that was lighter than my face in order to balance everything out. Same is happening here with this Zoeva foundation. So the last thing I'm gonna do is use a powder that is too dark. So let me grab a face powder that is light to help balance all this stuff out. All right, so this powder is from the lip bar. This is Bronze Beauty. It's a set the tone finishing powder it is light obvi but it is going to pull the whole look together taking my usual brush that does need to be clean but that's okay complex culture okay and we're gonna go over everything and it should lighten things up a little bit okay 
bringing it together a little, toning down this goldenness. And look at this already. Like already, I can do this. Okay, 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 okay. The golden situation isn't so horrific. It just needs to have the finishing powder on top. Maybe this is what I felt last time. Once I had brought all of it together and I was outside, I'm, I'm remembering now. I did say like, mm, I kind of like this. It just looks very stark and strange. Again, that's why I always put on a powder. I call it my face powder after everything because it needs to tie in. Do you see this side of my face with face powder on and this, uh, this side of my face without? Like how? How could I call myself done with my makeup and not do this? There's just no way. For me at least, everyone's technique is different, girl, and this is what I do. I don't know what you be doing. <laughs> Comment and let me know. Are you or are you not using a finishing powder? I call it a face powder. Same thing, girl. All right, all over the face. Ooh, now this. Now we are talking, okay? And now we are having a conversation in English. <laughs> Hi. All right, all right, all right. I put on my usual blush of Cosmetics Always Spicy. I did not do my Rare Beauty Luminizer Flaunt. You know, you already know that is my joint. Look at my fingers. I'm not even sure what is going on. You already know that that is my joint. What movie is this from? What movie? What movie? Where the guy was like this, I can't do it. And he like put his hand in the, in the, in the spaghetti, ew. It's so disgusting. You already know that the Rare Beauty is my joint and I haven't even done that. You know why? Cause the face is looking Luminosa Luminosarota. It's looking very, very, very glow, you know? Okay, the skin is looking all that and a bag of plantain chips. Okay, honey, it's looking real good, baby. I didn't even do my Luminizer. Okay, I haven't even finished my eyes or my lip and I am really into this. I don't know. Oh, something is let me finish the eyes. I could be speaking too soon because I'm looking at bare naked eyes and then this highlight right here is standing out to me. Let me finish my face first before I speak too much, but I am liking how it's looking now. For my eyebrows, I do have this makeup by Mario. I had this for some time. Mario's Signature bl Brow Blowout, okay? Let's take a look at which one of these products is going to match my skin and my brows. First of all, not first of all, all of all, okay? I cut off the tail end of my brow. Why? Come a little closer because I can, and that is just what I do, and that's what I like to do, right? People love to tell me how much they dislike my brows, but let me just remind you again, I cut off the tail end of my brow, why? A little, again, one more time, because I can, you know? And we're gonna go ahead and fill these in. I like to create my higher arch. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's see. Okay, classic brunette. All these are gonna go in giveaways, so not my color. Brown black, brown black will do. Okay, so you slide it up and slide it back. Isn't that so cute? Alrighty, so let's slide some forward. This is a pretty thick tip. So what I'm gonna do is use the, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Let me brush, oh, I should use the back of this huh i'm so used to getting my own spoolie because the back of these are always so short like i need this longer that's why i don't be using this i need it longer okay brushing up my brows all right and then we go on go ahead i'm not using it at the angle i'm taking it on the side because it is pretty thick let's see i like to go in upward motions toward the front of the brow like so and then i go underneath to draw the underline this is too light. Mm, I would need, is there a black? I know there's no black in here. This is too light. This might work for you. Now, the thing too is my, yeah, it's too light. Look at that. All right, this is not gonna work. Now, this might work for you if you normally do use a black brown. My foundation is darker than normal, which means that even, <laughs> even my Charlotte Tilbury situation that I always use, it might not show up as much as it usually does because my foundation is darker than normal. But no, this is showing up. This is the color natural black. It's gonna show because it is black, a natural black, but it'll clearly show a lot more boldly if my foundation weren't as dark. All right, the next product we have is this new Fenty palette, which was sent to me. This is the Boss. What? <laughs> I almost said Boss Bomb. It says Bomb Posse, Wowzers, Bomb Posse eyeshadow palette. We got some neutrals and shimmers up in here. Looks like there are two different sections a light one and then a deeper one. Let's see what we're gonna do here. Mm. Okay, it doesn't have a transition color that I would like. This may be a transition color, but not the way I be liking it. Let's try it. You know, I like my, no, uh, no, no. 
no. Mm, yeah, no, okay. I like my transition colors to be on the reddish brown side. I'm gonna just take my blush. <laughs> Always spicy, because I don't have anything else next to me. I emptied out my, this is not meant for the eyes. Okay, this this look is really taking a few turns right now. I Oh, I should have used the bronzer. That's what I should have done, hold on. I do have this makeup by Mario from last time. Makeup by Mario Soft Skull Bronzer. That's what I should have been using, not that blush. I can't. This is really going a few different directions today, but we are gonna bring it together. It's gonna be all right, okay? It's coming together a little bit. The face is looking real shiny, yo. Yo, it's not something I'm used to, yo. In addition to the texture on my face, the shine is just very unusual for me, yo. This is the makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the color Deep. And I put down MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. This make me hot. <laughs> I can't do this. Now, let's go back to this palette, which I'm very underwhelmed by. I just don't even get it. Like, the colors are too light. Mm, okay, all right, let me just go all over the eye with this dark brown color and then we're gonna do a shimmer on top and see. I'm just not wowed by it, it's just okay. For my skin tone, these colors are far too light. Even this brown is neutral in tone, which is fine for a crease. It's just okay for me. Have you tried this palette? Comment and let me know. A neutral toned brown does give a nice smoky eye, so I'm not gonna take that from it. it I'm just underwhelmed by the palette because the colors are pretty cool and I would like some more warm toned colors in here. Okay, so I have not done a wing liner in <laughs> A long time. I don't know what I was thinking. This wing is freaking <laughs> huge. This is a one size point made bodacious black 24 hour liner. This is a Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. I used this a while ago and it ran out. I do like it because it works really well. Not for the bottom lash, but for the top, I did it. I did enjoy it, but hold on. Is it because my lash, my liner is too thick? I can't really see. Mm, I can't really see what's going on with this right now, but that's okay. We're gonna put lashes on top of this because you know lashes are a must, okay? I'm gonna link these lashes below for you to take a look at a whole folder of lash options on Amazon, which are fantastic. On the bottom lash, I am gonna use the one and only right now that I love, which is a Lawless One and Done Mascara. I almost said mascara. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. All right, putting on lashes and then we'll move on to to the lips. Okay, okay. before I apply my under eye mascara and my lip, I am gonna highlight the inner eye. Let me use this pink color in the corner. Let's do that. Okay, that's more pink than I expected, but it is beautiful. It's not a bad thing. Wow, oh, it's like a purple. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting, but we are okay with it. It does look beautiful. Alrighty then, here we go. Hi. Okay, bottom mascara is the lawless situation, and then we do the lips, okay? All right, so the lip color I'm gonna use is a color that I have not used in ages. I used to work at MAC as a freelancer, and baby, Cork was her, okay? I picked her up again because it's been so long. But now that I have her, hold on. I used to be light. When I came to Houston, I used to wear NW45. This is light. This is lighter than I remember. And it is not the color I want right now. I wanted more of a chestnut. Yeah, I've gotten darker since I've been in Houston. Uh-oh, uh I already started, so here we are. Dang it. This is reminding me of ColourPop BFF3. My God, today. Okay, well. This is, uh, it's given Dave Chappelle, you know? This is the, this is a gel liner called Deep Taupe by Appeal Cosmetics. Yeah, you see that? I just need, <laughs> that is too light. Dang it, I like cork. Comment, let me know if you still use cork, if you've ever used cork. Dang, it's too light for me now. Hmm, what do you know? Bringing this in, because I'm going to lighten the inner part of the lips with this Maybelline Super, Super, whatever, you know, too long, Poet, okay? Number 60 is the color. This is light, sticking right in the middle, right in the middle. Yes, this is looking gorgeous. I'm loving this pouty look that it's giving. You know, the inner part of my lip being light. I like that. 
ombre. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this gloss on top. This is a glazed lip oil, extra glaze from IBP. I don't know. Let's put this on top. Oh, this, this, this applicator is fat. <laughs> Ooh, oh, look at the product. I hate when that happens. I don't do gloss very often. This is nice and shimmery. Oh, yes. Mmm, y'all. Uh, who else puts on the lip product and then make those noises? Y'all, y'all, y'all. Ooh, okay, let's blot the inner part of the lip. We wanna avoid the gunk and the grossness. I am into glosses now more than ever. Glosses on top of my lippy because I still want that color to be there. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, yes, okay. So pop. Pout your lips, put this in the middle. Go like that to get off what's on the inside, okay? Do it again if you need to. There we have it, ooh. I like how this came out. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it. The foundation is looking nice and deep, nice and deep. So it did look dark all by itself, obvi. I have several foundations that by themselves look dark. For instance, the Lancome Tanti Dome 550C, it's dark by itself, okay? So this one is the 430N Warrior. I like it. I like it. What do you think? Comment and let me know what you think about this look. What aspect of the look are you feeling the most? I just always have to do this. Ow, 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 ow. I am feeling myself. Why not? If I don't feel myself, who gonna feel me? Who gonna feel me, boo? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Okay, make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram. Also turn on your bell notifications. And as always, I'm glad you watched my video. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.